Welcome to the Bentec 7X Assembly Southern Stinger tutorial. Before we start, we're going to go over some things that all of our customers should come to understand in order to use their software efficiently. The display area shows what we call a TriStar, which is used as a directional guide and starting point for most projects. The directions are defined as left, right, front, back, ceiling, and floor. Compared to the XYZ directional, this seems to be an easier concept for most people to understand. However, if you're used to having it another way, you can always change the look of the TriStar in the settings section if that makes you more comfortable. Pick points are used for everything. So what are they? Pick points are simply points in 3D space created by the user that are meant to define where the parts in the project will be placed. Once pick points are placed in the display area, you can build off of them by using them as reference points for other points. Most of the time, you can think of them as the end of your tape measure. Center line means exactly what it sounds like. Every line that you create in the assembly designer represents the very center of the material you're working with. Think about it like the way a wick runs through the center of a candle. The apex of the bend is really the intersection of two center lines as if there wasn't a radius. Start by opening the Bentec software and selecting the assembly designer. From there, maximize the screen and select a material and die from their respective lists. I'm choosing a 1 and 3 quarter inch tubing and a 5 and a half inch die, but you can pick whatever you'd like within reason. Now select the pick points tab to begin creating our first part. Type 17 into the right field and click apply to create the first point. Then click the left field so the 17 transfers over and click apply for our second point. Next, type 30 in the ceiling field and a 0 in the left field and click apply to finish. Now with three points on the screen, go up and select the bent button to start creating a bent part. When the window appears asking for the number of bends, leave it at 1 and click OK. Then click the bottom left point to start creating the bent tube. Instead of following it up directly with the next pick point, first select the bend mode button above and change it to tangent start. Then click the next two points, leaving the name of the part as is and clicking OK to finish. To change the location of a bend and the orientation of the part, we'll need to make some small changes that will make a big difference. So go to the Edit tab and change the number in the Amount field at the bottom to 4. From there, select the Nudge Bend tool, select our only bend, and nudge it backwards by clicking the green L, or left button, four times. We also want the part bent outward too, so click the pink B or backward button once to move the bend out 4 inches. Then go back to the pick points tab, clear the values from before, type 36 into the front field, and select the tri star as a reference. Click apply to place the point. Now go up to the edit tab and the copy sub tab. Click the Select Part button and click on the part in the display area. It will ask you to set the anchor point of the part, so click on the Try Star once again and then transfer the copied part to the point we just made in the previous step. Then, go back to the Move Sub tab, select the Nudge Bend button again, and click the Bend on the copied part and click the green F or Forward button twice. Both of the parts should now be bowed outward near the tops as seen here. Next, we're going to create some more pick points so we can add connector tubes in between these two. So go to the Pick Points tab and the Line sub tab. From there, select the Set Reference button and draw a line from the front of the left part to the front of the right part, as seen here. Then, select the Split in Half button and apply to create a pick point directly in between the parts. Now go back to the single sub tab, clear the values, and type 30 into the ceiling field. From there, click our new point to set it as a reference and click apply. Now we can set a few more pick points along the plane of the tubes by going to the plane arc sub tab. 
From here, select the Set Base Point button, then the bottom end of the tube, followed by the tube itself. Then type 3 in the Move Amount field, and apply the point. Follow the same instructions for the other side as well to make it symmetrical. Click the Set Base Point button, then the bottom pick point, then the feature, and click Apply to finish. Then, with the leg still selected, change the value in the Move field to 12 and click Apply to set the new point. Next, select the Set Base Point button again and create a new pick point on the other leg, then click Apply. Now click on the single sub-tab, clear the values, and type 9 into the front field. Then go to the pick point 12 inches up on the left leg and click Apply to place a new point. Now do the same thing but click on the bottom end of the tube and click Apply. Next, select the back field to the left to transfer the 9 to that field. Then, select the point 12 inches up on the right leg and apply it. Then, the bottom end of the leg and click Apply. If you follow these steps correctly, your display should look like this with symmetrical pick points. Now, go up and select the Bent button, click OK, and create the part by clicking the points as seen here. Select the Bent button again and do the same thing on the other side. Do the same thing to create two new bent braces like this. Remember that the pick point we'll be using on the previously laid part is light blue representing the midpoint of the straight. Also, the bend of this part must be adjusted further to put the bend in the right place before fabrication. So go to the Edit tab again, type 6 into the Amount field below, select the Nudge Bend button, then the top brace closest to you. Nudge it to the right by clicking the pink R or right button. Then repeat the process on the other side. Select the nudge bend button, choose the bend of the brace, and click the pink R button. Having moved these bends 6 inches toward the front of the vehicle, we now need to move a few more features. Go to the pick points tab once again. Type 2 into the left field. and click on the top point where the tubes converge and click Apply to place the point. Then go to the Edit tab again and select the Move Feature button. Select the top points of the converging tubes and move them together to the new pick point. Then select the protruding tubes and reconnect them to the midpoints of the other tubes as seen here. Then go to the Cutting tab and select the Auto Miter button. From there, click on the two intersecting tubes to cut them to each other. The other cuts can be performed by simply clicking the Auto Cut button. In that case, a total of 10 cuts will appear to the left in the cut list to be printed out later. Thank you for completing our Assembly Southern Stinger tutorial. For more helpful and informational videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook.